Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, September 27, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and as you can see on Friday, or basically on Thursday, we did rally quite significantly up towards the 20 exponential and then got rejected at the 20 exponential. We ended up on Friday below the 300 moving average, and that is definitely not a good sign. If we basically break uh, below the candlestick on Wednesday, then we may see this drop significantly further. If you look at the other technical indicators, we can see that the MAC, we did rally on Thursday uh, here in the bull in Japan, didn't get close to the middle, and then got rejected. And we do have a little bit uh, until we get towards the bottom. We could drop uh, around 0.31% before hitting uh, the bottom of the bullish band. And it should also be around where the lows of uh, Thursday and Wednesday are. If you look at MACD, it is still very bearish. The RSI is also very bearish, fairly low. And the so is the CCI and the stochastic has just fallen off a cliff. So momentum is definitely to the downside at this current stage. And the question is whether or not we manage to basically break this uh, double bottom here. And then we have this, uh, which is roughly 1357 uh, that we are going to test. And if that breaks, then we may be looking at a very a long decline to the downside for the Great British Pound the US dollar. As you can see, we have uh, the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement right around this level here. If that breaks, then we could be looking at the next Fibonacci retracement, which is at 38, which is all the way down here. And that would be a drop of roughly 3.8% uh, to the downside. Uh, fall below that, and then we are looking at the 50 Fibonacci retracement all the way down here, and then we have a roughly 6.3% to the downside. So it has broken the 300 moving average. If these moving averages cross the 300, then we may be looking at a long-term decline for the British pound US dollar. And as the US dollar looks like it's going to continue to appreciate that scenario, it's looking more likely at this point. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. And as you can see, we have broken above this line, which I wrote, basically put here, which was previous uh, resistant. And at this current stage, it looks like we are going to test the 111. Uh, we rallied quite significantly on Wednesday, Thursday, and on Friday. We may see a pullback towards this line or even the 100 moving average before going higher. But this is a fairly um, positive sign that we may um, continue this rally. We are getting fairly overstretched. If you look here in the bullish band, we are way outside of the bullish band. So a pullback uh, should be expected before uh, going higher. MACD has crossed the signal line, becoming very bullish. RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish. Stochastic is uh, still in bullish territory, but has crossed the signal line. So it is bearish. So Euro, US dollar, very similar to the Great British Pound US dollar. It um, is hovering around the same area that we have been hovering around for quite some time now. Momentum has been to the downside for quite some time. We did get this rally here, but in general, this is a gradual grind to the downside. So 1177 uh, is basically where we are at at this current stage. And if that breaks, then we are looking at 1160. And after that, significantly lower. And MACD is a bearish, uh, RSI is bearish as well, but we are on the edge of being oversold. Uh, CCI is also bearish and look here in the bullish band we do have a little bit to the downside before we get to the bottom of the bullish band but it is uh, this line here which i think if we get a uh, closing below that then we may drop towards 1160. Uh, the stochastic has basically fallen off cliff and entering bearish territory so let's look at the rc us dollar we can see that we also tested the 50 moving average on thursday and then we basically fell apart now we're back around this area where we have been for quite some time. If this breaks, then we may be looking at uh, a drop towards a 0 0.70, and that's a drop of 3% to the downside. Um, still here, US dollar is, uh, continues to appreciate, and that is uh, taking its toll on this currency pair. Uh, this will continue to, uh, to depreciate if uh, the US dollar continues to appreciate. So at this current stage, looks like 20, uh, 50 moving average is a uh, major uh, resistant and uh, yes momentum 
looks like definitely to the downside if you can look at these uh, technical indicators we can see that the macd is bearish so rsi is bearish cci is also bearish stochastic is bearish and we do have some room to the downside here in the bollinger band if you look at the us dollar can, uh, canadian dollar we did uh, test this area here which has proven to be quite uh, resistant but still uh, 50 moving average and 200 moving average are also the floor in this market so we have been gradually going higher in this market and have kind of established the 300 moving average as a, a floor in this market with the 50 moving average however we may see this pullback a little bit if you look at technical indicators like the macd has just crossed the signal line rsi is also bearish cgi is also bearish and we also crossed the middle here of the bullish band and close below that so we may see this pullback um a bit on monday's so probably uh, thursday session before continuing higher macd is still uh, the stochastic is though barely bearish at this point so if we bounce from here take out this candlestick then we are most likely going back to the highs that will be a rally of roughly 1.3 percent to the upside and take out this candlestick here then we are looking at a long-term trend to the upside that's probably what we are going to witness if the us dollar continues to appreciate so hope you find it helpful you want to support your channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our new suggestions and good luck and thank you very much